I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. These tackles and about the 23-yard line. We've got a second and nine here. All on the 23-yard line. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Go down, go down. Check three, check three. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. Smith is back deep to return. Smith fields it at the 34, and he's tackled at the 49-yard line. So the Aggies and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. It's second and one. Ball on the 42-yard line. Mike 17, Mike 17. Got an opening. He's at the 30, and he tackles him hard at the 28-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Goes quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. From the 28-yard line, it's second down. Quick throw, tackle around the 22-yard line. Call it a game of six yards. Third down. Good tackle there in space. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 14. They try running left. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. That's good for a game of your hearts. That brings him second and five. And down he goes around the seven yard line. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He gets rid of this one. Texas A&M is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and he's got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Davis has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Texas A&M's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Caught, open field. He's to the 40. Tackle made at the 37-yard line. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Brought down at about the 27 yard line. That brings up second and nine. Complete. He's got room. He's pushed out of bounds around the 12-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 12-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game of seven. That'll bring up second and three. Here we go. 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 They'll bring him down right around the eight yard line. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. They're at the eight. Third down. Slings it. And he's tackled just outside the goal line. Brad, you can really feel and sense the energy coming from the sidelines right now. They know how important it is to pick up first downs. And the coaches right now are showing the excitement that they have and yelling out the next play for the offense. But clearly, the offensive coordinator very happy about the execution on that last play. Touchdown, Georgia! And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. It's fielded at the two. Tackle at the 20-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Quick strike, and he drops it. Second and ten. Ball on their own 20. Nice run up the middle. Game of seven yards. Third down. tries to buy some time and they make the stop the 32 yard line it's first and 10 ball on the 32 yard line an exciting first quarter comes to an end 7-3 Bulldogs Back 
to the action now here in the second quarter. Watch 85, ball's going 85, watch 85. Come on, baby, come on, let's go. Let's go! Right, right. And he hits him hard at the 20. And the protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. So the sack makes this a second and long. They bring him down in the backfield. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Three down. Three down. Mike 17. Mike 17. Fumble. Loose ball. Recovered by the offense. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Jackson, back to return it. Jackson fields it at the 50. He's taken down at the 42. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. And the tailback broke that one for a very nice game. Give the offensive line some kudos there. They blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back. From the 30-yard line, it's first down. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. Georgia holds a four-point lead. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. He's taken down at the 30. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Under pressure. This one's going deep to the end zone. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for the game of seven yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Three down, three down. 17's Mike, Mike 17. Wide 80. Wide. And they hit him in the backfield. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Mike 17, Mike 17. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. That's exactly how they drew it up on the sideline, and now they get the ball back. Jackson, the return man. Jackson fields it at the 27. Nice yardage on the run back. 
The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. It's important for this offense to reestablish their continuity. The last time, they were unable to move the ball down the field. In fact, they were taken off the field after not converting on a fourth down. They get the football back. Let's see if they can reestablish that confidence. From their own 46-yard line, second down. Throws it out, knocked loose. Georgia is up by four. He's got it with room to run. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. They couldn't get anything to work, and it will be fourth down. They did a pretty good job of not letting the offense get much going on that possession. They'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Texas A&M's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is testing. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game. They're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points on. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 19-yard line. And he's going to be sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. And don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. He fights forward to about the 16. Well, that's a big-time stop by the defense. You know, Brad, one of the things that all defensive coordinators always try to emphasize is their ability to stop offenses on third down. That is a big stop, and I think it could have a lot to do with the outcome of this football game. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. Georgia is up four. Going long. And this one's going to get intercepted. Not a good decision there. Why do you even throw that back? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. First and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. Gets out to about the 25 yard line. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to come up with a sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. And they'll probably try to throw here. They line up on third down and 14. Roger, Roger. Light 17, light 17. Here we go. Gray 95. Gets out to about the 21. Not much on that try. They'll face a fourth and long. No one on the defensive side of the ball was fooled that time, Brad. Jackson will be the return man. Well, we're headed to halftime now, and we're seeing two defenses that don't want to give an inch. The Bulldogs lead 7-3.
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games, and you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Lane fields it at the one. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. The Bulldogs continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it second and eight. From their own 24-yard line. It's second down. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That's a gain of one on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Let's go. He's scrambling. And down he goes at the 34. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 34 yard line. Gets it. He's in space. Tackle at the 45 yard line. He's tackled around the 46-yard line. That brings up second. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Three down, three down. Mike 17, Mike 17. Here we go. Setting up the play action. I love the toughness here by this quarterback. Sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Nice run there as they work the outside. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. quickly and he's got his man I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker it was just a better call by the offense and that's why it's a first down we're at play number nine of this current drive he's at the 20 inside the 10 touchdown Texas a and Try 
trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 79-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 10-7. He sends this one deep. Texas A&M is lining up to kick this one off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense, as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Gets rid of it quickly, and it falls incomplete. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open, and everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it, and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. Fires out to his wide out. First down. midfield. Mike First Wood, down. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 45. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. He's hit immediately. Pickens picks them up about five yards on that pass play, and that one will move the sticks. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. Second down and 11. Ball on the 41. Dumps it complete to the halfback. Over the middle. Tackle made around the 40-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Flips it, middle to the running back. And they make the stop at the 38-yard line. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. He's going to go for the home run. In and out of his hands. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play. But, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, call a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. And he hits him hard at the 34-yard line. Loss of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. They come up to the line here in second down and 14 after the sack. Texas A&M holds a field goal lead. Now he's scrambling. And he's sacked. And that'll get him fired up. This guy's got to show some senior leadership out there and regroup his offensive linemen. They're getting outplayed right now. Mike 17, Mike 17. And here we go, watch, watch the 
So with one quarter remaining, the Aggies lead 10-7. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Mike 17. And a quick throw. Inside the 30. And he's taken down at the 23-yard line. The design of this play is perfect. Working to the strengths of their personnel, and the defense looks totally shell-shocked by it. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. He scrambles. Decides to slide. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. Here's an opening. That's a great tackle at the one-yard line. Second and goal. Ball on the one-yard line. Texas A&M is up a field goal. Let's go! Touchdown A&M! And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herb Street. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 61-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. the 26-yard line. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's tackled the 37-yard line. Johnson makes the tackle at the 37-yard line. First down. Some open field. They'll bring him down at the 48. He kept it himself and picked up a good looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Once it all, going deep. Almost picked off. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. From their own 48 yard line. Second down. Quick strike, and he drops it. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He lets it fly. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. They bring the quarterback down. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Nice run, and 
and he's brought down. That makes it second and six. From the 37 yard line, second down. Just over two minutes in the game. Nice run up the middle. The defense has got to do a better job of being more aggressive. You know, this offense doesn't seem to be in much of a hurry. They're working the clock. You know the chances are they're going to run the football. That allows the defense to pin their ears back and get aggressive. It really comes down to the defensive linemen holding up against the offensive line and the linebackers and safeties crashing downhill and making plays against the run game. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Makes it out to about the 16. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. Tackled after a decent pickup. Georgia will take their final timeout. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 12. He's taken down at the 11-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll make it turn five. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 17-7, Texas A&M. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Curb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.